Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and just a quick update for Angon Pro we're up to version 1.37 and I've just updated a new feature and improved some of the others um, so as you can see I'm actually on Blender 4.1 beta so bug fixes only so this is all compatible with that so chances are it will be compatible with the main version when it comes out so this new feature is the um, adding vertex colors feature and you can see here I've got it under the vertex color I've made our own section for it so what we can do is we can choose an exciting color like purple and just make sure that we are in attribute mode under viewport shading okay so and then we can add our vertex color and it will go purple now if we select everything they'll also all go purple so you can do this to multiple objects at a time now if you go into edit mode and you change it to say um, orange okay and you add the vertex color whether or not you've got faces selected it's going to add it to all of the faces however if you do the paint selected faces only and we change this back to purple okay we're going to start to get uh, just purple faces where there's purple so um, really cool stuff there and that's really powerful in texturing software to mask out areas so you might want these to be metal and these to be wood and you can use a mask by color selection um, in your in your texturing software so um, that's really what that is for now um, that being said we can go and have a look at more advanced example we'll get the suitcase up okay and we'll just select it and we'll rotate it so it's standing up okay because that came in from plasticity now this is um, obviously not got any vertex colors yet so we can just add a whole vertex color to the body okay and then we can I don't know add some to the wheels make those orange you get the picture okay so we really are just um, showing you what you can do there now now you might have a part of your model that you wish to be um, a different color okay this is where you can get a little bit granular with it okay because we've still got our select faces um, only and object uh, in, in edit mode so if we go into edit mode and we just go like this and select the selection and then we just change that because maybe we want this to be a different color to the rest of the um, suitcase we can go and add that vertex color and once again if this was unselected it would apply it to the whole mesh so we don't want to do that obviously this is a really quick process for getting things done now if you missed out on um, my last update um, there was a couple of features in this refine panel that I added okay so you can turn on a wireframe so you can view the wireframe so if we um, create a low poly we'll see that become a triangulated mesh now this is important to have a triangulated mesh when you go into texture editing software because Angons will just mess it all up so if we turn wireframe off um, we can also mess with the detail so at the moment if we go and have a look at this the decimate modifier is set to 35% or a ratio of 0.35 so we want, might want to make this whole thing a bit smaller so we we can reduce that detail down but we're starting to get some artifacts here so if we then let's just do it with one side of the mesh okay uh, select our mesh we can go into x-ray mode okay select half of our mesh like so maybe just minus something out like that and then we can go exclude faces from decimation okay go back into object mode and you can see that this is set to 0.2 or whatever it is okay uh, but this is not so we can then bring our decimation back up to like I don't know 0.35 okay and then what's also cool about this is if you look at these we'll go into wireframe mode let's just go back into uh, material mode so we can see it a bit easier and maybe choose a different matte cap okay we'll just choose the plasticity one okay and we can select all of these 
Okay, and we can refine our detail how we like. All right, and then we can just paste it all over to the selected objects. So um, say there's a zipper here is something like that. That would be great. And then maybe we like the decimation of this, so we could select that and we could um, paste the detail as well and we should see a reduction in that or an increase even. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Like, sub and buy Angon Pro. Cheers.